The father says thank you to the firefighters who saved his baby's life after the child was ejected in a fatal Henrico car crash. One-year-old Tommy Olbermann was in a car with his mother when that crash happened last month during rush hour on Laburnum Avenue. His mother, Raina, and another relative died at the scene. The baby boy and two other people were rushed to the hospital. Sarah Bloom met little Tommy today. She joins us now. And Sarah, the good news here, he's home from the hospital with his dad. And Kurt, tonight they are saying thank you to some of the first people on the scene, the ones they credit with saving the child's life. You might just say those claps are one-year-old Tommy Opperman's way of saying thank you to the men who helped him on the worst day of his short life. It was a bad wreck, and to see the two cars smashed up and um, a little body, you know, on the right-hand side of that, and that was every one of us there has children, so it hits close to home. Tommy was thrown from his car seat 70 feet through a car window to the pavement. These men were the first responders on the scene to help. He's a miracle baby. At the distance he came out of the car and just to see him healthy and happy, it's, it's a great feeling. We don't get the, we don't get this fall up very often. On the, the basis of the mechanism of his injury and the accident, yeah, it's amazing that he's barely scratch on him now. Two crosses sit at the intersection now where Tommy's mother and other relative died. His father drives by it every day on the way home, a constant reminder of how difficult it is to be both a mom and a dad to his son. And my wife is home, home full time off, taking care of him, feeding him, bathing him, changing diapers. Now I got to do both of those and do all that. Eric Opperman lost the love of his life, but he's thankful these men gave him a piece of her back. And he says those giggles from his miracle son give him hope and promise in the tough times to come. He's getting back to his old self before the accident, laughing and smiling and goofing around, eating more. Raina's memorial service is set for tomorrow at 2 p.m. at Nelson's funeral on Laburnum Avenue. The family does not have life insurance to cover the cost of the service, so friends have set up a fund for donations if you would like to help. You can go to NBC12.com for those details. Sarah Bloom, NBC12. Our prayers go out to the Opperman, Sarah. Thank you. We did check in with Henrico police who tell us there's no new information about what caused that deadly crash.